Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Saudi Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort, Phuket. I'm JP Mastanza. Now here's the news you need to know. Two university students are now dead after a horrible accident in Chelong when a six-wheel garbage truck ran over the motorbike carrying the two victims. The accident took place near the entrance to Soi Palai on Chafa East Road in Chelong when the truck crashed into the motorbike from behind and overlaid on top of the two bodies. Rescue workers had to use the jaws of life to remove the body of 19-year-old Prince of Songkla University student Potsaton Chai Jaron Sup, who was found with his helmet on but his head stuck under one of the wheels of the truck. Just a few meters away was the body of 18-year-old Panicha Ming Kanukul, the passenger of the vehicle. The driver of the truck has been charged with reckless driving causing death. For more on this story, visit thepuketnews.com. And all public transport drivers entering the Phuket International Airport are set to be randomly tested for drugs and alcohol as part of the government's campaign on road safety through the Songkran holidays. The White Airport Safety Initiative, as it's being called, is a campaign by the airports of Thailand taking place at six airports nationwide, including here in Phuket. And drivers will also be checked that they are not carrying weapons. All drivers will be checked, especially the drivers from the three companies currently contracted as the only ones allowed to pick up passengers from the airport. The AOT did not say when the campaign will end. And police in Chiang Mai are charging a woman with causing a disturbance, all because she called emergency services repeatedly, over a thousand times in three years. Lieutenant Captain Sawai Misang told Khao Saad that the 60-year-old woman would dial 191, sometimes up to 40 times a day, and she would flirt with police officers over the phone, all because she was, quote, lonely. Police finally lost patience after three years since she was clogging up the phone lines for real emergencies, and although the maximum punishment is a 5,000 baht fine and a month in jail, police only fined her 100 baht. And sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after these words. This is the Phuket News. This is Novosti Phuketa, the Russian newspaper for Phuket. This is Puji Dao Ji Wen, the Chinese newspaper for Phuket. And this is Kao Phuket, the new Thai language newspaper for Phuket. Available at over 600 locations across the island. Stay up to date with the latest news in any language. Pick up your copy today. Your island, your paper. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A new law is moving ahead in the National Reform Steering Assembly as politicals are voting in favor of term limits for village headmen and kamnans to five years. The kamnan is the chief of the municipality in which you live, similar to a township, also called a tambon. For instance, Kamala and Chalong are each a tambon with a figurehead, and currently, once that person is elected to the position, they can stay until the retirement age of 60. But the proposed change calls for elections every five years for Kamnan and village headmen in the hopes that the term limits would incentivize them to do a better job. Several Kamnan and village headmen are not thrilled about the proposed law, with about 300 of them gathering in front of Provincial Hall earlier this week in Nakhon Rachasima to voice their opposition, saying the changes would make them more into politicians concerned with popularity. This story is ongoing. Luxury in the afterlife? While a coffin is the final resting place for many, one man in the capital is doubling down on that idea, creating coffins that are meant to look as if the deceased lived there. The coffins by Opa Simfa are designed to look like houses, with computer-generated graphics wrapped around the outside of the coffin with everything from a driveway to luxury cars and more. The special caskets are tailor-made for customers as they hand in photos of what they would like to see on the casket, and Opa simply charges them for it, starting at about 8,500 baht. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, 
Stay classy, Phuket.